It is day six of Element a Day in May 2018, and Elements named after Historical Figures Week continues with Röntgenium. Element 111, 111, make a wish. Just kidding. This element, like a few others I've talked about this week, was discovered at the GSI Hemholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research near Darmstadt, Germany. Like most synthetic elements, it was created by bombarding one element with another enough times that they fused and created a new element and existed as a single atom for a very short period of time. And they don't really know what it's good for because it doesn't exist in nature and they don't know much about it. But the guy they named it after, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, well, we do know a few things about him. What are those things, you say? You ever heard of x-rays? He discovered them. No big deal. <laughs> Except that it is a huge deal. Wilhelm Röntgen discovered x-radiation, or as we know it today, x-rays. The scientific community even named the unit of measurement after him, the Röntgen, or sometimes just R, Although the International Committee for Weights and Measures came in and said, we reject this name for a unit of measurement. That is, I'm guessing, how they spoke. And it turns out that the equation for the Röntgen wasn't the most efficient way to measure radiation anyway. But Röntgen's legacy was made secure when the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry in 2004 confirmed the name Röntgenium for element 111. But why Röntgen for that particular element? It turns out, scientists synthesized element 111 exactly 100 years after Röntgen discovered x-rays in 1895. I love that. That is all for today, everyone. See you tomorrow for the last day of elements named after historical figures. Element a day.